Hello, welcome to the Air 950 installation and setup video. We'll be discussing the installation, accessory attachment, and functions of the Air 950. When you open your box, first thing you'll find is an accessory kit. Next, you'll find a box of 100 dermal tips, 50 sharp, 50 blunt, and finally, the Air 950 packed in protective foam. As you open your kit, verify that all accessories are present and inspect each piece for damage. The accessory kit should include the following. Autoclavable three button hand control pencil, reusable grounding cable, five disposable electrodes, three blades, one needle and one ball electrode, a wall mount kit, ten handpiece sheets, a hospital grade power cord, five disposable grounding pads, and the user's guide. The Air 950 can be mounted on the wall, a mobile stand, or a tabletop stand. In order to mount the Air 950 on the wall, use the following procedure. Mark the drill holes using a bracket as a guide. Drill out the holes using a 316 drill bit. Seat the screw anchors into the holes. Insert the screws through the bracket into the anchors. Slide the mounting screws into the grooves on the bracket. Before operating your unit, be sure to read and understand all safety, warnings, and cautions referenced in the user's guide. After the Air 950 is properly mounted on the wall, ensure that the power switch is in the off position. Plug the hospital grade power cord into the unit and the other end into a properly grounded AC outlet. To connect the monopolar handpiece, plug the round plug into the bottom of the unit. Insert the two prong plug into the monopolar receptacle on the front of the unit. It is designed to fit in only one direction. The handpiece rests in a convenient holder on the side of the unit. To connect an electrode, simply insert the electrode into the end of the handpiece. To install the optional foot switch, plug the connector into the receptacle on the front of the machine. The Aaron 950 has five operating modes. Cut, blend, and coagulation, which require the use of a grounding pad. Full duration and bipolar, which do not require the use of a grounding pad. To properly connect the grounding cable, plug the connector into the patient plate receptacle. To attach the pad to the cable, insert the tab into the clip, closing the locking mechanism. Notice that the patient plate alarm indicator is no longer illuminated. To adjust the power, simply rotate the power control knob to the desired setting or use the up-down power control buttons on the autoclavable pencil. In order to use the bipolar mode, bipolar forceps must be connected. To attach the optional bipolar cable, insert connectors into the receptacle marked bipolar. To connect the optional bipolar forcep, insert the prongs into the plug. The Air 950 incorporates six user-defined presets for easy recall of frequently used settings. To create a preset, select the desired letter using the recall button. Select the desired mode and power settings. To store the settings, press and hold the set button for two seconds. The preset letter will blink to indicate that the settings have been stored. To recall a user-defined preset, simply press the recall button until the desired letter appears in the display. A blinking red light in the lower right-hand corner of the preset window indicates the unit is not currently operating in a user-defined preset. Your Air 950 is now ready for use. 